Hey, in this tutorial, I will be teaching you about arrays. Arrays are useful because it can be used to store multiple values with the same data types in a single array instead of creating more variables. So let's get started. Alright, so let's choose our data type. And for this tutorial, let's choose by, since we're making an array, type in the square brackets and name your array which mine will be A, set an equivalent to new, your data type, and then you set the maximum uh, val uh, yeah, values inside your array. So the max I will have will be three. Vari or not variables. Values are also called elements inside this uh, array. So do semicolon. And remember, Java read, or not reads, Java counts from zero first and then counts up to the maximum, which will be two. It'll be zero, one, two, which is three elements max. So now let's type in the A, the variable from here, the name of the array. You type in zero, and then you set the value for that portion of the array, which will be three. And then A, one, it's five. A2 equals to 10. Alright, so right here, those are three elements. So that's the max. Because it's 1, 2, 3. But Java reads from 0, 1, 2. So remember that. Don't forget about it. So now let's uh, print out our values within the array. So let's do print line. And hmm, what should we put? Let's output this portion right here. So A1, A1, okay. All right, now let's save this. And let's do Java C, Java. And we should get five, five. It's one, one, five. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. All right, well, there's another way, which is called initializer. And in my perspective, I found, I, yeah, I found it a lot more better than this one right here. And this right here, this method I showed you already, this right here, are really useful when you try to add an element into your, your array, your initializer array. And I'll show you the array that I'm talking about right now. So let's do uh, by again with the square brackets again name it a equals have your curly brace and set as many uh, uh, elements that you want because there are no maximum so type in three make sure you have your commas too so you can separate it the the elements four oops doesn't matter if you didn't put space but I just like it how it's organized, so bear with me if you just don't like spaces. And yes, listen to this right here. You end it by a curly brace again, and you end it with a semicolon. You can also do string, string uh, brackets a name a one equals have your curly brace. Make sure you have your uh, double quotes since this is this is a string. Let's say hi. John. George. Oops. George. Alright, you end it with this again. The curly brace. Semicolon. All right, well now let's uh, output something. All right, let's say we want to output four. All right, tell Java, say, all right, we're going to do this, print line. We're going to output four, so it will be one, A1. I'll be four, see? Let's do the same thing with the... Uh, 
string all right one will be this one right here it'll be John which is my name all right so let's do this four all right cool wait four oh not cool um why is it four? Oh, I didn't save it all right well now let's do it again John all right now it's cool all right well if you want to output everything instead of doing one by one then let's use a for loop because I know you people want uh do like a single system out like until you reach the maximum well if you have like 100 elements in your array I bet you're not going to do that but instead let's use for loop which will be so much easier let's do four let's make our accumulator I will be set to zero all right, we told Java. All right, we're gonna start from zero, and now we do. All right, let's do i less than use the array, the name of the array. You and remember this. This is important syntax. If you want to output everything inside your array, let's do length, and I'll show you uh, what it does. Like after I get down the for loop real quick, and do i plus plus alright well now let me make this function unusable or unfunctionable because I want to show you something real quick if you make it into a comment it won't be functionable so so it's good if you want to experiment things and you want to uh, comment this if you want to use it again probably so let me show you what the uh, the syntax length does so system out dot print line let's do a dot length it'll tell you how many characters are in, on, in a element so uh, let's I already save that clear screen Try to compile and run alright they say we have four elements one two three four but remember we started from zero which this is this right here is zero also, so they're gonna count zero, one, two, three. And they say the max is, is four, so that's why we set our accumulator uh, less than four, basically. And then once it's done with the for loop, it'll accumulate until it goes to the next one. All right, so now we're done with this part. So let's delete that. And now let's, let me teach you about for loops right here with arrays. Have it curly braces. And now you uh, type in what you want to output. Alright, so let's system dot out dot print. Now can use that new line because we want it on a single line. So let's say, alright. We can use the, the array name, which is A. And we use the I for the accumulator alright so basically what it means here that alright once we done output the first one we're going to show the next one plus plus increment so it's pretty good and you'll see the results after yeah right now Java C clear screen Java alright it says 3435 alright it looks kind of weird because we set only three, four, three, five. Let's add in space here. Because it'll look good. It'll show spaces. Clear screen. Now you can see the spaces. It's pretty neat here. You can also do a string to A1. A1. Since we can use this right here. And it will show the names. Hi, John, George. With spaces. So let's do this. Java C. Drop. Hi, John, George. 